What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to another video on my channel. Whoa, whoa, back it up there. No intro this week. It's just a normal vlog. Come on now, get that <laughs> down my face. Back to the video. Man, I'm starting to realize I suck at vlogs, man. I, I can't enunciate when I'm talking to a camera, just going off the dome. I, it's hard for me to enunciate right now. I have to think about every word so precisely when I speak because, man, I just... I just talk over myself and I make all this jumble noises. And I don't even know what I'm talking about. See, I just did. I just did it there. But yeah, actually, I was supposed to be vlogging when I went to Austin, Texas, for a buddy's graduation. But for some reason, I just I couldn't do it. I actually know the reason. Um, that's because I went a little too hard at the beginning, and uh, you know that just kind of ruined my energy and. My desire to film, in a sense, and you know, it stinks, but it's a lesson learned for sure. But yeah, if I have any good footage of the Austin vlog, I'll put it right here. Does she have only fans? Hey, Charlie, give me a little intro for the vlog, bro. What's up, guys? It's Jerwin here, back at it again with another video. Tonight we're getting fun. Anything to say about that? Yeah. My president. Where's my present? It's your present? Yeah. That means my present. My present. Oh, is why? Why? Oh, hey. I don't like how to say it. I know. Oh, I'm I'm to keep I deserve a present more than you do. For what? I flew here. Why should I get this GLA? Why should I get this GLA? It's Jerry. And he's, he's trying to be sly guy. Is he filming? Sly guy, sly guy. Is he filming? You gotta just catch the moments in the moment. That's what I'm saying. You gotta catch the moments in the moment. He doesn't want to walk, bro. Like he doesn't like. He won't walk. He doesn't want to. He wants to walk with you, though. Look at this. Go for the vlog. Go for the vlog. You little boy. All right, let me help Quinn. <laughs> That's when you take part in the landscape. You said the same. Oh, yeah, me. I might have pooped my butt. <laughs> Who's vlogging the vlog? Hey, Burn, hey, Burn. Burn's hey. supposed to be cameraman. Yeah, okay, cameraman Burn. Hey, guys, welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> I don't need an intro. I don't need an intro. Wait, we need to do it. Who's getting the drunkest tonight? Oh, Jeremy, man. All right, no. Hey, Jeremy, you're getting So there you guys go. Yeah, man. Yeah, I feel, I feel bad because a lot of them wanted to be filmed, and I was talking about, like, oh, I'm going to do an Austin vlog. I just never did it, so... Yeah, it stinks, but it's definitely a muscle I have to work out for me to get better at. So, because, you know, I, you know, the more skills I have to diversify my channel to make interesting content, why not develop those skills? I think it's about like 940 in the morning. Just had breakfast, woke up at eight. And now I'm ready to start the day. I'm ready to get after it. Uh, I'm actually going to go work out. So uh, if I decide to film, I decide to film. If I don't, I don't. So I'll see you guys there. Huh? All right, what's going on, guys? So I just got done working out. It was really weird. So there's these uh, cleaning people here, or there, I should say. And, um, you know, it didn't just happen one time, because I know how this comes across, but it happened three times. I was in the middle of a set, and these cleaning people come by and they go, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Can I, can I come clean, please? Please, can I come clean? I'm like, one second, come on, one second, please. And I'm like, okay, like the first time it's like, okay, it's fine. And like, I get it, like it happens. Second time that happens, middle of my set. Can I, do you mind if I come clean here? Can I come clean here? <laughs> and meanwhile, I'm doing that. Can I come clean here? Okay, second time it's like, okay. I'm a little, I'm upset, but I'm gonna slide off because it's not gonna happen again, right? Third time it happens, I'm doing the elliptical stairs. She literally, the machine stops. I'm like, what the heck? And it's because the girl behind me is cleaning the stairs. It's like, come on. Can I have a break for just once? Right, I'm make it. No, I'm going. <laughs> yeah, no crash. But yeah, um, that's what happened at the gym, really. You know, also, I was watching the Today Show on Friday of last week of recording today. And so it was Mother's Day, like it was like Mother's Day weekend. Like, what can you do for your moms? And they had a segment 
where they had all like the an anchors, the female anchors, sit around a table drinking wine and like eat meat and crackers and go like. The thing about motherhood is that there's such a bond between all moms, an inherent bond. And blah, 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 blah. And say, I love watching my kid grow up and develop his personality. And it's, I have no idea what to be a parent, but together we are strong. And I, I was just kind of laughing at the fact because it's such a girly thing. You know, it's Mother's Day, so they're all girls, right? But, uh, it's such a girly thing to, like, I don't know, it's just like, uh, it's, of course, like, moms would, like, be talking about that kind of stuff, you know, Mother's Day, it's all like, we're a family, we're a bond, we should never hold each other's back. Meanwhile, Father's Day comes around, and it's all like, when you can but yeah, um, I don't know, I just, I was just kind of laughing about that joke in my head, but yeah, um, alright, well, I probably should focus on driving back right now, I don't want to get in a wreck. But yeah, uh, okay, well, I'll just see you guys when I get home. <laughs> Alright, see you guys. So I got done with editing. I've been preparing for that job interview tomorrow. Yeah, just, I don't know, I, I don't feel like playing video games. I don't feel like, I don't know what to do. <sighs> Man. I guess I can go shave. Okay, well now I shaved. Um, that was nice in the moment, but uh, I'm still pretty bored. I mean, I'm just trying to get some interesting footage. I don't really have anything to say right now, but you know, I thought I would record after a while of editing and you know, going over my job interview, but yeah. I, I think that's gonna be it for me today. What's up everybody, I'm back. I'm ready to talk about nothing for this vlog. Probably be better or easier if I can just set up my phone somewhere where it's not. Look what they made. They made it for me. Happy technology. After I made that uh, parody YouTube short about like, get ready with me and how I say I don't take care of my face. I've been breaking out all over. Like I never get a zit up there. I never get a zit up here. Like I have like, well, is it like I'm like I have blemishes on my skin? Like, that never happens to me. <laughs> oh, I have a little hat on now. That never happens to me. And like I think that's just kind of karma, in a sense. So now I have I've been taking like skincare products and doing all that stuff now. But anyway, whoa! I've been looking uh, a lot at social media. And I look at like people like. That are like at the top of their game, like YouTube-wise, or like at the top of the pyramid. I just say maybe, maybe not at the top of their game, but like, you know, I look at like TV shows or movies, and I see like an actor on screen or something, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, man, I'm, I can do that. Like I'm, in fact, I think I'm better than that. I'm better than him, and like I know I shouldn't probably think that way because that comes off as egotistical. But I do, like, why not me? Why, why, what's stopping me from achieving that? And I guess I have like a weird fear of, you know, being successful too late. Like I'm 23 now, right? But I was looking at like Mr. Beast's age and uh, Emma Chamberlain's age. Are those like the two big people? Like Mr. Beast is 26. I was looking at that guy, I was looking at that guy, I was like, damn, he's like, 30 something, but no, he's 26. He's three years older than me and like extremely successful. And like, man, I, I'm worried that like, by the time I, I get successful, I'm gonna be too late to the game, which I guess is like pretty stupid to think about. I guess I just want success now because everything feels so far away from where I am. But I know I gotta keep going. I know I gotta keep grinding. It's just kind of the process of it all. But man, do I want it though. Man, like, I really do want it. I, I literally wake up every morning thinking, like, okay, what can I do today to push my channel further? Or push it and push it up. And I know making videos like these, like, doing vlogs or doing the videos that I want to make for the most part. I make for the mo I want to make every video that I want to make. Or, like, I'm not, like, I don't want to rely on 
popular subjects or anything else to really like carry my channel right i want like my channel to be centered around my personality and all those things so which is this is why i'm doing these to uh, flex out that muscle to really pull back the curtain to release my full personality which is what i'm trying to do now it, it's like it's hard because i'm having a conversation with somebody that doesn't respond back i can ask you a question how's your day going Nothing changes. I'm still stuck in this room. Like you don't give a response back. It's like the hollow tapes that you find when uh, in a video game where everyone's dead and you just see <sighs> they broke free again. But yeah, I'm like looking at those other people and I'm like, man, I can, I can be that. I can do that. I truly do believe I can do that. But I just don't want it to be too late, you know. But I guess, you know, Kanye didn't get his first record deal until he was 26, right? I know I got. I know I'm young. I got time. But man, do I want it? I'm like. I'm hungry, man. I'm hungry. Because right now, I got no job, no girls, and no money. Which is like the deadly triforce of the modern age. No no job, no money, and no girls. It's like, it's like the worst thing you can possibly have right now. But, you know, it's what it is. It's what it is. But I'm trying to get out of it. And that's the most that you can do, right? Try to do it my way. But, yeah. Um... Alright guys, to wrap up this vlog, I decided to react to Yoko Ono, one of the greatest artists of our generations. Um, she's known for her singing ability, her paintings, and on the side, she did date a bug. So we're just going to watch her art show and respect her, just respect the living hell out of her because not only is she an artist, she's a woman as well. So let's just jump right in, alright? Also, if I make a face or I start laughing, you know, it's by complete respect I'm just gonna exit the video. That, that'd be it. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Imagine just like watching that and being like, wow. Wow, that's great, Yoko. I can see why John chose you. People <laughs> mocking her. There's one part I liked. Oh, sign those autographs, baby. Sign those autographs. Uh, there's one part I liked that she was like in a little toilet bowl. <laughs> She's also laughing a lot too. She got a bug in her pants. It may be a beetle in her pants. I like that part too. Wow, guys. Wow. That was great, huh? Uh, anyway, that's the end of the vlog. That's the end of the video. Uh, if you like what I do, please leave a like and comment on the video. Tell me what you guys thought. I love to hear honest opinions, no matter how brutal they are. Uh, next, uh, if you truly support what I do, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I truly love every single one of you guys. Uh, I love all the support I can get. And I just want to thank you guys for making it this far into the video. That's all I have to say. All right, guys. Peace out. Itadamatasu! Ah, I probably should not do that. All right, guys. Bye.